Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of April 2019. If you'd like a personal tarot card reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link of the entire reading. Enjoy the video. Namaste. So we come into this reading with the Two of Cups, right? A unified love relationship. However, the Eight of Cups says that somebody has walked away. Somebody has walked away from the giving and receiving and sharing that happens on a daily basis. And this is directly affecting the foundation of your life with the Emperor, right? The Prince of Swords says that, okay, so this is a little pocket right there, right? Right, right. So love relationships, someone walked away from who they gave and received with on a daily basis and it rocked the foundation of your life. So some communication comes in now. Some communication comes in about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship from a Queen of Wands character who is who male or female is very, very sexy, very smooth talker, fiery fiery personality, right? Hot, just hot, right? Irresistible, at least to you, you know, I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and that is absolutely true. But regardless, this person does it for you. And they're coming in now after all of this right here with, with messages of hope, faith, purpose, and renewal for your relationship. This leaves you confused with the Seven of Cups and threatens your sense of self-sufficiency with the Nine of Pentacles because somebody walked away from this relationship before and I, I get a feeling it's been a good minute between, right? It's been a good minute. And now you're all self-sufficient, doing your own thing, got your act together, right? Got over the pain and stuff, maybe. And now here they come again with messages of hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And it threatens your sense of self-sufficiency. The King of Swords comes in and talks to us about truth being spoken, about prioritizing you in this relationship, regenerating this dead relationship, recommitting to one another, and planning for your future. Achieving the Ten of Cups, right? Harmony, happiness, values alignment marriage relationships but in the past there's that old eight of cups again somebody walked away from this for a reason whether it was you or them somebody walked away for a reason right somebody walked away for a reason and now they're coming back and they want this whole new whole new cycle this whole new life cycle this whole new chapter to open up right and the three of wands is about um foresight right having having foresight and 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 planning so they come in with all of these plans and these actions and talking all this big game about a new cycle and, and a, new, a new chapter in your lives. And all you can think about is, wait a minute, number one, I'm self-sufficient. Number two, we walked away from each other for a reason. This causes you to sit down with the good old high priestess for a minute and just dig deep into your intuition and your subconscious mind and just think for a little while. Eight of Swords, thinking hard, wrapped up in your head really, really hard about this whole situation, about starting a new chapter, starting, starting again with this person where there was so much pain from the past. But it threatens your sense of self-sufficiency. Well, you get some absolute mental clarity while you're sitting down with the, um, with the High Priestess. You get some absolute mental clarity. And here is the struggle. The struggle is... The struggle is being left out in the cold, right? Which makes me think maybe it was you left out in the cold, but it doesn't have to be. The struggle is being left out in the cold. The struggle is the seven of swords, the shady behavior, right? Betrayal, deception, trying to get away with something, sneaking around, just shady behavior. Covered by the knight of wands, right? This is a card. This is a card about... Well, what would this be for this right here? I'm stumped. Hold on a second. 
So there's the struggle, there's the mental clarity. You have mental clarity about this struggle, about the Eight of Cups, about walking away, about all the shady behavior. Oh yes, okay, so the Seven of Swords, shady behavior and all of the negativity and stuff, right? But on the flip side, this card is about breaking free, right? Breaking free. So the mental clarity that you had with the High Priestess, this Ace of Swords, this breakthrough, is about your feelings in regards to being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold, the Eight of Cups twice, walking away, the struggle and the burden that it was for you, right? The shady behavior and all of the bullshit that went on with it. Well, the, the, the Seven of Swords in reverse is breaking free of all of that and breaking free with the Knight of Wands, which is, which is going to bring forth passionate messages, right? So you're going to return this communication. You're going to process it. You're going to work it all out inside of you. And you're going to figure out that, all right, despite the pain in the past, because all that stuff happens for so many different reasons, for so many different people, all that pain in the past, um, I'm putting it behind me because I see potential in this whole situation here, right? So, hold on. So you come forward with... You return passionate messages. This causes a change in the entire relationship. So this this change in the relationship is this other person. This other person is coming at you as the king of cups, right? Love and sweet and honey bunny sugar pie kind of stuff, right? He's coming at you with all of this sweet gooey stuff and you know trying to uh trying to trying to make up for lost time right but there you are oh i almost said your sign there you are so and so as the queen of swords right blocking it putting your best your best um bruce lee on all that stuff right so you're rather defensive and you're not in the mood for any kind of deception or bullshit, right? So you're entering into this with a wary eye, a very wary eye. Seven of Cups says um, that there is confusion, right? The, the wary eye, a little, bit of, a little bit of uncertainty going on there. Again, sitting it down with the high priestess, sorting things out, manifesting a decision about what it is you should do. The moon card, confusion, fear, anxiety about teamwork and collaboration and about transitioning into a new beginning with this person. The death card comes in and says you're putting an end to the page of cups, to this messenger of creative new beginnings, to this person that's bringing you their cup of love. You're putting an end to it. Queen of Swords, cutting it out. Ace of Pentacles, manifesting your own new opportunity and your own prosperity. Two of Swords, ain't having none of it. Seven of Pentacles, it's not worth your time. The Wheel of Fortune, I'm good on my own. The Fool card, a new beginning and a new journey is what I did when we broke up. The Nine of Cups, I'm good on my own. I am fulfilling my own wishes, my own comfort, my own happiness. I'm just, I am good on my own. Sun card, happiness, success, vitality. I'm good on my own. And this, my friend, is your justice for that. Ha! <laughs> this is your justice for that. So your justice is, right, you guys broke up. They come back at you, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, and all of that good stuff. Threatens your self-sufficiency, right? There is some truth that is spoken about, spoken about wanting to regenerate this, this relationship, this committed relationship, in pursuit of the Ten of Cups. But all you can think about is why it ended in the first place. And now they're coming at you with this whole new chapter, new world thing, let's start over, let's write a new book kind of thing, right? 
right? And, and, and this is card about preparing. You're not prepared for this. This came out of nowhere. You're not prepared for this. You sit down with the high priestess, totally up in your head hard about this new offer, this new chapter that this person wants to start with you. But you're a self-sufficient woman and you get some absolute mental clarity while you're there with the high priestess. That mental clarity is reflection on, on the burden that you carried when somebody was left out in the cold, right? Seven of Swords comes in, talks about conflict and deception, but also talks about breaking free of the con of the conflict and deception with the Knight of Wands on top of it, saying you're returning um, um, this communication. This, commu this return of the communication. Now, this doesn't say you're diving in knee deep in this relationship. This says you're simply returning communication. And then this King of Cups guy here gets all crazy about it, right? It, it changes your relationship. And here he comes, sweet as sugar, trying to do his or her, but I say him because it's King, right? Trying to do his or her thing and um, get you to forget all about this Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups and the Five and the Wands and the Seven of Swords and all that, doing his best. But you're not really falling for it because you are an independent woman, right? You are self-sufficient at this point. You are over this person. You're over this person. Seven of Cups comes in and says um, there, you, you, there's confusion, right? It's just like, pss, wow. You sit down with the High Priestess. You're manifesting. A decision, confusion, fear, anxiety about teamwork and collaboration, about a transition. But death says end to the messages of love. Queen of Swords cuts it out. Good on your own to do your own thing. Not having any of it. Not worth your time. I'm good on my own. Thank you very much. My new beginning and my new journey was a struggle and I'm not about to give it up. I am my own wishes fulfilled comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. I am my own freaking sunshine. And this is my justice. Woo! What a great reading. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.